everybody? It's Antone, paracord guy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paracord belt using just 550 paracord and a simple single prong roller buckle. Stay tuned. All right. So you're going to need a couple things to do this project. First and foremost, you're going to need some paracord. Okay, that's a little bit much. About 100 feet we will do it. Uh, 90 feet is usually what it takes for a 40 inch belt. So around 80 to 110 feet will do. Most folks can get away with a 100 foot hank of paracord though. Other than that, something to cut with. Some scissors, needle nose pliers. Butane torch, big lighters suck. It's something to measure with. In this case, my measuring tape. So we're gonna cut. I've already got some uh, stuff set up on a buckle, and I'll show you basically what we're looking to get into here. Okay, so we're back. And what we've done here is we've taken for 40 inches. You're basically gonna want one foot per inch for your center piece. We're using three separate strands. Down the center here, this is a 40 foot piece that we've doubled over. So 20 feet here, 20 feet here. Simple cow hitch around. You can find out how to do those really easily. It's basically just make a loop and bring it back over itself. It's really, really, really easy. On this side, we've got 20 feet over here. And then we've got about five feet right here. So you want these two pieces to be equal by foot. About right here is what I go off of. And then 20, 20 feet over here. So it's 25, 20, 25, and 20. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to have some tension. You're going to want to have some tension on here. So what I do is I have a bungee system set up that goes around my waist that hooks up to one of these clips and it basically just holds it right there. That way it gives me all this room that I need to work with. Okay. Before that, in order to do the weave the way I do it, this is just the way I do it. If you want to do it the other way, that's entirely up to you, it's preference. I weave upside down when I make the belts. And I'll show you why later. So we're going to take these two. And these are coming out. That's what we're going to build the weave on. Please forgive me if I get some terminology and all that stuff wrong. I'm do, trying to do this in a one-shot take. Had some trouble doing this last Friday. So we're just going to try to bang this out in one go. Might not be pretty, but it'll work. So we're going to make our first, our first stitch. On the, on the left side, I like to take and bring bring it up like this. I use my index finger to pull out, make a nice little nice little loop, and then I hold this piece with my two fingers here. And this comes up underneath this piece here, then it goes back over here and through the loop that you just created. Now you're going to notice that this is a lot of paracord to pull through. And I noticed that when I started making these. And it's a kind of a pain. But now that you've got your first stitch, if you want to do a pro tip, save yourself some time, get yourself a nice little rubber band. It kind of comes in a pack of 50 for 99 cents. And just start wrapping your hand. Grab a little chunk right here. Let a little bit out and just start wrapping your hand. Once you get all the way down. And it needs to be this one for a reason. It needs to be the non loop side because the loop side, that would just be silly. This is going to kind of just feed through kind of like a, like a needle. And you just start to bump in the camera. And you're just going to wrap it up, make a bundle. And if you need more, just pull it out. It stays. There you go. Pro tip. You can also carry it in your pack that way too. Really, really nice. And there we go. Finish out another one. 
All I did was make a loop on this end, toss it over. It's basically just a cobra stitch. There's plenty of instructionals on how to do those. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the loop on this side. Okay, on this end. This side's done for now. Now we're going to make a loop here and basically do the same thing we just did, only in reverse. I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, figured I'd just save you the trouble of uh, having to watch me pull all of those through over and over and over again. So it just seems kind of boring. But anyway, like I said if you're looking to do looking to do a belt, first time it took me about four hours to do it, so carve some time out for practice. And uh, there's some other good videos out there. If I don't cover some of the things, a really good video out there to learn how to do this weave is uh, JD from Tying It All Together. Anybody who does paracord knows JD. He's the man. So shout out to him. So we're going to do the second part of this stitch here. Let me go through. Just like that. Now, it's good to tighten it up. I'm going to go ahead and recenter the camera. We're good. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this hanging right here. And we're going to start working this over to this side. You can always tell your loop end is going to be sticking up like this right here. So make a loop and then bring this up underneath. I'll bring you guys, try to bring you guys back. It'll better look at it. Alright, that's a little bit better of a look. <clears throat> so bring this up here. In between these two frames. That's why it's really crucial to have a good, good tension system. So now that it's up through there, just goes back over it. Now you can start to see it's going to make the same. Tighten it up as you go. Now you make your loop over here. Come up underneath this. This one, what I like to do is I'll use my thumb. And I'll just kind of pop it like that. Then it rests on my wrist. I know it's out of the way. Toss it back over. Boom. Okay, so now you're going to start to see a pattern as we go. These two. They're always going to work together. And what I mean by that is, is this strand will always be right here, waiting to come up and start to make another pass. So it's going to come over here, go one... Then it's going to come over and go, boom. Okay, so it's going to go, and then this will be waiting for you once you get this whole bundle back over here. So it's just kind of going to go down. I have a hard time explaining things sometimes, but you'll see it. So we make our loop again, come up through, center, over. Make our knot right there again. Back over. Push it up. We got our little loop just waiting to be made. And there's another pass. It's always going to look the same. And they're always going to just be sitting just like that. And what these do. When you set it up like that, what those will do is it'll make this cool little beauty stitch when you're done. Right here, you'll have that. If you keep doing it the right way. Most folks, when they put a belt out there, it has this. And that's cool, it works. I think this actually looks like a belt, and I think it looks better. And that's why I've always done it that way. That's why I do it upside down, because it seems to, seems to work a little bit easier when these are hanging down rather than being on top I don't know it just it just seems easier to me so we're gonna keep going Make another pass and as you get better with practice it'll go faster I like having these 
bundles uh, because it also helps to keep the paracord from sticking to itself and knotting on itself and all that stuff that you have to deal with when you do paracord stuff. So you just keep going, keep pushing up as you go, and eventually you'll have a belt. Sometimes you get twisted up a little bit, but most of the time if you just let paracord uh, do its own thing, when you're trying to take it out, it'll it'll just kind of work itself out. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own. You just got to kind of figure out a way to work with it rather than against it. I know it sounds weird, but spend a lot of time with it. You start to notice its personality. Keep going. start to see how it's taking shape starting to become something okay so take this off here give you a look at the opposite side see a nice beauty stitch right there that's what we're looking for looks like a real belt something that you'd Something that you get out of leather or something, maybe. I don't know. Just kind of gives it that... Gives it that belt feel, in my opinion. So we'll pause and I'll... And I'll get you guys a uh, shot once we get a little bit further down. Okay. So we've got probably about six inches or so on here. Starting to get to the point where we'd have to start backing up our chair. So what I like to do at this point... I just fold the belt over, put one of these little file clips on here, bring my little hooks in, and I just let it rest right there. That way I can kind of keep in the same spot, I don't have to keep moving back or anything like that. So let's get back to the weaving. Alright, so we're back. Took a little break on the recording so I could get some 
length done here. As you can see, we've gotten pretty far. Don't got that much left to go. But basically, we've accomplished this by just doing that same three sets of passes. Just three passes over and over and over again. Just doing the same motion, same pattern over and over and over and over again. Takes about a it's about an hour, maybe hour and a half, if you're in a really good rhythm, to really knock one of these out. It's if you're cooking, you gotta stop in between or you know, take a break, walk away from it or anything like that. It can take a little bit longer. And if you uh, hit some snags along the way, it can mess you up too. But at the end of the day, you should be able to, with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get this done in about about an hour and a half, two hours I'd say. And it's just a matter of practicing and getting a rhythm. Once you get once you get the hang of it it's you can do it without even thinking about it. Half the time I'm not even looking at it when I'm doing the weave. I'm watching a TV show or you know, something like that. So once you kind of get the feel for it, it's really not a big deal after that. You just keep going, keep working at it, keep pushing that up, keeping it nice and tight. You don't want to. When you're done with it, you don't want to look at it and see. Uh, if you look at it against the light. You don't want to see light coming through the stitches. That means it's too loose. I think that it should be nice and tight. And these uh, these belts are built to last a lifetime. I've had customers who have been using a belt for six years now. Same belt, no issues, no problems. move you guys up a little bit, get you a better view. Get you some room. So the whole uh whole idea of this is to make something that you can pass down. That kind of handcrafted quality that you know Grandpa talks about when I was a kid, they used to make things to last, kind of thing. That's the whole mentality behind everything that we do. We want everything to last. You know that no, nothing's nothing's indestructible. You know, there's going to be problems, there's going to be issues, there's going to be things that come up. But luckily, all of our stuff's guaranteed. If you have any problems, just return it to us and we'll fix it. So far, we've only had. Maybe a handful of returns in the whole five, six years we've been in business. So I think that says a lot about the care we take into each piece, which is made to order. Every single piece starts out on the spool, and uh, the hardware and everything, it's all made to order. So not buying anything off the shelf. Your piece is unique, it's yours. But anyway, this is a how to vid so you can do it yourself. And if you guys need a roller buckle and some paracord or anything like that, just let me know. We could we don't have it on the site, we'll go ahead and shoot you guys an invoice or a payment request on PayPal. We'll take care of you. No big deal. And just keep on going. We're getting close to where we might be ready to measure. Probably around 30, 33 maybe. Looks like 33. Maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> what do you know? Sorry, I was a half inch off.
33 and a half inches. We got a little bit more to go. Well, you get you get used to uh, working with something. You get kind of good at guessing the lengths. So I'll do another stitch for you guys. Take a pause, and I'll come back when we're all done and ready to show you how to end this thing. All right, we're back. We're at 40 inches, maybe about a quarter inch over, which is fine. And we're down to what would be our last pass. Now, what's important to understand is on this one, you just want to finish up this side right here to match up to here. You're not going to do any more than just one and two. That's it. Now, what you should have is you should have the uh, paracord sitting somewhat like this. With two inner strands and these ones here should be sitting like this. Now, there's a lot of different ways to end this. Uh, the way I do it specifically is a little bit more complicated and I, I don't know. This is, this is just an easier way to finish it. So I'm going to show you guys this way instead of the normal way that I do it. What you're going to want to do is, is take the two inner strands and just make a simple cobra weave but over the over this frame right here that we've been working around do one two kind of locks it together and I like to go three for good measure then what you're going to want to do is pull down on the on the string the frame here and push up at the same time that way it kind of gets it nice and close and you're just going to keep going with that You're only going to need about an inch, inch and a half. And if you want to make it to where you start this at about 38 inches of woven, then that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm just going to guess that right there. That will be fine. Take and cut off the ends here. video's sake I'll use my flush cutters and that's all these are these are flush cutters they're an electrical tool an electrician tool you can buy them at any Home Depot Harbor Freight Lowe's they work great for paracord flush cutters Get that melted off careful when working with fire <clears throat> all right now you take this you make a cobalt weave on top of that first one's gonna be a little little funky that's okay and it's kind of got like a rattlesnake end I guess like a rattler tail <clears throat> and there we go. Cut this end off. You can do it your own way. You can figure out way, what way works best for you. This is just a really simple way to end it. off. Let's use my scissors for this one. And I'm going to save this piece. You go in the scrap bucket. Alright. 
So now you've got your belt. Now this is good to go. This is done. You can use this. Okay. Goes in here. Cinch it on down. And that's basically where it goes in. One of those. And that's how it locks. That's why I like those beauty stitch. Um, beauty stitches that we do. Because you can kind of tell each one of those is an increment of adjustability. Pops up right in between. And then boom. If you want to go a little bit extra, you can put a little uh, belt keeper loop thing here. That's what I saved this for. And all you're really going to do is, is you're going to count down about four on this side here. Really sorry about hitting the camera. I know how annoying that can be as a viewer. So, doing my best. Alright. Put your needle nose plier in there. And this is a custom made needle nose plier. I wrapped it with paracord and I filed down the, the tips so I can get in to those hard to reach spaces. But regular pair of needle nose pliers or even forceps will work, what have you. Check out Amazon, eBay, or Harbor Freight. I like to get Harbor Freight tools because they're inexpensive. So, just gonna go. Oh, that looks about. Let's go with that. Looks like it'll work. And then all we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna pull this down, make a simple overhand knot about the spot where we were at. I've tried doing a flush cut before and melting it, <clears throat> but those have come loose in the past. So I changed up the way I make these. Let me check that again. Let me get a little bit more length. Okay, pull that all the way down. And just go over again. It's very interesting doing this with the camera going through a camera and I don't normally do a lot of videos I'm sure you guys can tell why now at the end of this one and if you like it let me know try to make more and came up yeah that's about what we're looking for if you want to you can go ahead and do a cobra weave pass on that it's entirely cosmetic doesn't change the functionality of it whatsoever kind of sets people apart when they got them all up on the internet trying to compete with each other which is fine competition is great and there we go there is one completed belt getting sent out to our Facebook thank you Thursday giveaway winner they have been patiently awaiting this, and I appreciate that very much. Spool it up, make it look nice. And that's it. It's one fully completed paracord belt. And I know it's been quite a video, and if you've been watching this whole time and you've made it to the end, thank you so much. Um, please shoot us an email. If you're looking for uh, supplies, uh, info, info at the T H E paracordguy.com or check us out on paracordguy.com. Uh, also, Facebook slash. Uh, if you need anything from us, just let us know. Be happy to help. Uh, also, feel free to check out our website and if you want, use PCG10 for 10% off any. I'd, uh, anything on the store if you're looking for a belt in particular and you don't want to make it yourself I believe we still have an active code that is 550 belt and I think that gets you 15% off of one of these it's a really good value might be might even be 20 not sure have to look into that but anyway I just want to thank you guys this is Antone from the paracordguy.com and I appreciate you guys checking this video out. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, how-tos or gear reviews or anything like that, just let us know. Hit us up on Facebook. Really uh, 
really easy to get in contact with us. We don't bite, promise. Anyway, once again, just appreciate you guys hanging out and watching this video. Have a great day.